This morning, an 11 year old girl is recovering in the hospital after being shot in the West Pullman neighborhood. She's one of the more than 50 people shot during yet another violent weekend in Chicago. CBS 2's Mugu Odigwe breaks down the disturbing numbers for us. Police say the 11 year old girl was shot in the back last night. From our tally, she's one of at least three people under the age of 18 shot in Chicago this weekend. This is what the scene near 117th place at Michigan Avenue looked like last night. Evidence markers on the ground next to shell casings and police putting up tape to rope things off. It's not clear where the girl was when the shooting started, but according to police, just after 9 p.m., someone in a red car fired several shots hitting the girl. Sadly, her shooting isn't something new or surprising in Chicago. We've been reporting about the growing number of young people caught in the middle of gun violence. Across Chicago, more than 120 kids and teens under the age of 20 have been shot so far this year. Last week, we told you about Savannah Quintero. She's the 14-year-old girl who was shot in the head while walking a dog on Wednesday. She died of her injuries on Saturday afternoon. This weekend, as we mentioned, three people under the age of 18, including the 11 year old girl, were shot, non fatal. But when we look at the big picture, from 5 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. Monday morning, at least 58 people were shot in Chicago this weekend. Five of the 58 shootings were fatal. This, as the city and Chicago police say, they are trying something different this year to fight violence. Flooding 15 sites in the city responsible for 50% of the violence with resources from the library and parks department, among others. But looking at the numbers from this weekend, it remains to be seen if that strategy is working. As for the 11 year old girl shot last night, police say she was taken to the hospital in serious condition, but is now in fair condition. No one has been arrested. At police headquarters, Mugodi Gwe, CBS 2 News.